Hello, this is a quick video on how to disassemble your first generation Ring video doorbell camera for the purposes of replacing the battery that no longer holds the charge. So first of all, you'll need a Torx bit screwdriver. I don't know what size this is, but uh, this is the screwdriver that came with my Ring originally, like five or six years ago. So you take these bottom screwdrivers, screws out, back them off a good distance, but don't lose them. Once you back those out, you'll be able to remove this from your outside wall where your doorbell's located off the, the base plate. Once you get this inside, you'll need to take off a total of uh, four screws originally, and they're very tiny. Bear with me, I'm doing this one-handed while I'm holding my phone with the other hand. So get yourself a, a small set of these micro screwdrivers or uh, jeweler's screwdrivers. Uh, there was four very tiny Phillips screws. One, two, three, four. Once you take those screws out, you'll be able to t get a, um, a small flathead screwdriver underneath this metal and just pry the metal up and out away from the plastic body. Uh, work it like that way. Work it out and around the curvature of your ring. And once you start working it and pushing it away, you'll kind of see the direction it's wanting to go. It's not very easy to do this step, but you can do it. I mean, it just takes some work. Once you pry that metal up and away, you'll bend it a little bit, but it's nothing terrible. It'll slip over the edges of your of your body and it'll slip over the edges and away. And you'll be able to pry it all the way off. So that's what it looks like when you get it off. It's slightly bent, just a little bit, but nothing major. I can bend it back when I'm all done, putting it back together. Okay, once you get that metal cover off, there will be two screws that you couldn't see before. They're right here. There's one and there's two right there. I already have the screws out. They're in this tray here. They're very tiny and they're magnetic. They wanna to stick to your screwdriver. So be careful. After you get those two out, there's two more up top. One here, one here. Take those out. So you'll have a total of one, two, three, four, these two are the hidden ones, uh, five, six, seven, eight. So you have eight screws you take out. And then these two down here are nine and 10. The mounting security screws, they call those, that hold this unit to your base plate. Once you have those screws out, take a small flathead and start prying at the very edge of this plastic cover on the back to pry it up and away. And you'll, be, you'll want to be really careful during this step because your original battery right here has some double-sided tape and it is stuck really, really good to this back plastic cover. So when you're lifting this out and the battery's stuck to it, chances are if you pull it all the way out really hard and fast, you will disconnect the battery from your main circuit board or motherboard. So here's the orientation of the wires and the wiring harness. There's two black wires on the left, one white wire in the middle, and two red wires on the right side. Um, and if you want to take your old battery off of your cover, you want to be really careful to get a flathead screwdriver or a butter knife or something and stick down in there between the plastic and the battery and be really, really careful to start working that away slowly. Because if you puncture these lithium ion batteries, it can be really dangerous. They can explode, they can spark. It, it gets really nasty. These batteries can cause some real big damage. Uh, so I got mine off by prying it apart with a flathead screwdriver and it took, it took some time and some work, especially not to puncture the battery and to break this thin plastic back cover. And the way this wiring harness 
attaches back onto the board. There's some thin pins in there that you'd think that would just, you would take this wiring harness and just slide it back onto the pins, kind of like in a lateral motion, but that's not the way you do it. You just actually line up your um, wiring harness and there's little notches underneath there. You can't really see it because my camera's not focusing, but you just line those on there and there's some side little tabs on the very side. You can see the little tabs there on the side. You just line that up into your circuit board like this from the top and you just go straight down onto it. You just push it in there like, like that, like a motion, like straight down onto the board, push it down and then it just clicks into place. And it's a pretty fragile attachment, so you don't want to push too hard, but you want to make sure things are lined up and you just push it down on there. I used the end of my plastic um, with the rubber tip here uh, screwdriver. I used the end of that to kind of just push it down on there to make sure, make sure things were all you know lined up and secure. You don't want to use like your metal tip on that because you might damage something or create continuity across pins and short stuff out. But uh, once you get that on there, you should be good to go. Just reverse all the steps to put it back together. Um, this is the comparison here of my original battery right here that came with my ring like six years ago. Model number B15169. Here's my new battery installed. I got this off of Amazon for like $17. B15169. Uh, there's a small difference here of the 3.75 volts. This one has 3.85 volts. And then my original battery has a 5,000 milliamp hours. And the new battery is 5,800 milliamp hours, MAH. So that's the small difference. Um, I'm hoping this will work as good or maybe better. Um, Go ahead and leave comments, and I hope this video helped you out. Thank you.